Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. We're here to talk about how to create a magic square with negative numbers. Now, usually you create magic squares with positive numbers, but um, you can also create magic squares with negative numbers as long as you follow the same methodology as you did with positive numbers. Now, the demonstration we're going to use today is that of the staircase method, which is a method guaranteed to develop odd order magic squares, which are 3 by 3, 5 by 5, 7 by 7, etc. So, first and foremost, we're going to draw a 9 by 9 array first. And if you are familiar with the staircase method, then this should be easy to follow. But if you're not, this might be a little bit of an adjustment. Um, but you'll, you should be able to pick it up um, pretty soon. Now, first and foremost, we're going to start off with the first negative number that we think of, which is negative 1. And the first number is always going to be at the center of the top row, so it's going to be over here. Now, the general pattern of the staircase method is you're moving in an upward pattern, left to right, in a diagonal fashion. So with there's going to be some rules to consider, so let's see what they are. Now if you're going from negative 1, you're going to be over here. Vertically, you're outside the square. Now when that happens, you're going to drop all the way down to the bottom of the row and put the next number there, so it'll be negative 2. Now when you're moving here to here, you're outside the square horizontally, so you're going to the beginning of this row, and you're going to write negative 3 over here. Now, if you go from here to here, you are going to be in a situation where the number is already occupied. So whenever that happens, you drop down one. So this will be negative four. Now, this should be smooth sailing for the next couple of entries because go from here to here, there's an empty number. So you have negative five. From here to here, it's going to be negative six. Now, when you are at the very top right-hand corner of a square in an odd order, you drop down one notch, and that'll be negative seven. Now, from here, you're going to go diagonally over here, but again, horizontally, you're outside the square, so you're gonna to go to the beginning of that row, and that's gonna be negative eight. And lastly, if you move here, you're going to be vertically outside the square, so you're dropping down, that'll be negative nine. Now, what you can do on your own is verify that the sum of each row, column, and diagonal is going to give you the same sum because that's what a magic square does. Now, as you can probably tell, the sum of every row, column, and diagonal is going to give you the sum of negative 15, which verifies that it's a magic square. So you can create your own magic squares with negative numbers. You just need to follow the proper strategies going forward. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to create a magic square with negative numbers.